Hello there! Welcome back to Tucking Cash. I hope you are doing well. Today we're gonna play a tournament game with the European expansion. So it has been a while since I played the European expansion. I've been mostly playing Oceania, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, hmm, interesting start already. I'm not sure if I'm used to this. It definitely takes quite a bit of adjustment between Oceania and European. The board changed so much. So with the with the baseball you only gain one food and one card without any resource. So certainly Phoebe great start here. Um Phoebe might synergize with the common swip. Quill for eight lanes. Sparrow hop for the fours. Um Yeah, I miss the nectar. The, the nectar helps so much with the game. Without the nectar, this is a very greedy start, not gonna lie. Um, maybe I'll look to pick up the sparrow. I just can't afford to keep the goldfinch here. Yeah. This is an okay start. Didn't have a, didn't have a wetland option there. So I think I will have to go with BB no wetland here. If I have a, if I have a wetland option, maybe I would have gone for Phoebe in the grassland. But that would. That would be too much of a gamble to find a wetland bird. Especially with the base board, you only draw one card at a time. It's very risky to top deck or dig for a wetland bird like that. So it is a compromise. I think I can play Phoebe. If I can pick up the Sparrow, that will be a good bird that I can play. Um, and then hopefully get some kind of access to food after I play Sparrow Hawk. It would take quite a bit of cards. All right, three birds with kind of an interesting food here. Maybe like a crow, a fish crow or something. Ah, shoulder hawk, okay. Nice. Yeah. I think with the reduced access, I say reduce access of card in European expansion or baseboard, it makes sniping cards like Sparrow a tougher decision because, oh, they did, just as I said. Wow. Because you have to you have to go for like one card at a time, um, so that's not ideal. But do they have like a Franklin's goal or something? Sniping that one one bird that was interesting. Um, in any case, now maybe I can get Tip Mouse. Um, that's my fourth option. That's not a bad idea. Let's see. Ooh, yes. Do I still want tip mouse? Yeah. I think having a strong force access is still going to be good. Um, 
Waiting for the feeder to be re-rolled so I can get like a fish or something, that would be nice. Built a kingfisher, okay, that's a big investment in that. Um, potentially compete for the end of round here, but... Um... I mean, I can... I can dig for cards... Or... I can start building my fort, so I can play the titmouse and then play the goshawk, unlock two food... And then get enough food to play my stork. Maybe I shouldn't hold on to so much of the common swift here. Even though common swift might be good for the last in the frown here. So I have five turns, so I draw one, two, lay it three, four. I have to game food. Kind of like the swift here. I think I just play one bird and see what happens. Okay, I think I make the right decision for not activating my Phoebe because otherwise my opponent would have played the Sparrow and gained extra eggs. So I think that was a good call. Um, do I want to... So, four turn. I can play Goshawk. Game food twice. That would be enough food to play the White Sword. Or if I... If I gain cards again, I have to lay eggs. Gain cards, lay egg, play Sparrow Hawk, and then game food. It's all very slow, not gonna lie. I want to get the Stork out as soon as possible. I think they're gonna play the sparrow and legs and they're probably gonna compete hard for this end of round which is fine I'm not I mean that's still a four point lead which is pretty good with the end of round I do wish I have my Phoebe in the grassland that was synergized with White Stork very well. But oh well. Not complaining that I got the White Stork though. Alright, good thing I got a fish. That was exactly what I was worried about. Alright, drawn bird. I got the migratory bird too. Must be pretty desperate because that's an interesting pick. Um, I could lay eggs, but likely they're gonna lay eggs and you know force to win the end of round here. So I think I'm gonna forego that one point tempo and go for the stork right away, so that I can start digging in round two. Ah, uh, round two trade cuckoo, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Cuckoo would be a good counter for... For my grassland here. Um, yeah. So I guess... I have to lay card as soon as possible before their cuckoo is down. Um, rest start. I mean, both rest start and flycatch is a great. They're gonna try to gain food and lay down Kuku as soon as possible. I think I'm gonna raise to get my birds down. 
Let's see. I think I got two grub. I think I play Cuckoo next. So, gonna take one more time. Okay. Now, take the big point birds. Even though the woodpecker would be a very nice extension to the. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think I can delay laying eggs for quite a bit. I'm gonna play the red star game food. Play spoon bell. Okay, and they're building a pretty nice forest here with their predator. Let's see if I roll a fish. Of course I did not. If one more turn, I can potentially compete for this end of round for sure. Um, since they lay eggs, maybe I don't mind giving them one more egg. Yeah. What's good? I think... Wobbler. Hummingbird is pretty tempting for them to pick up, I think. Alright, so they decide not to compete for this end of round. Play the Grebe. Um. Do I want the hummingbird? I think the hummingbird might not be a bad pickup. It could be my second grassland bird. Um, yeah. Do I want to give away grub? No. Not feeling very generous. Alright. Roadrunner. I think a rope runner could be a nice pickup here. Yeah. Oh. I'm not using my stork. I just want to deny that rope runner basically. And it's still good for me, I think. New swan too late. Sure. Oh Raven, come on. Is that too late for Raven? We shall see. This is definitely not what how I would usually play. This feel like very, very... Very, very Oceania focus. Trying to build force and play big points. Um... But yeah, let's take away the rodent to make it a little bit difficult for them to play that bird. Um, make it harder to reroll. Okay, they will get to reroll, which is fine. What do I need? I need more grub, I think. One, two, three, four, five. I need more rodent. I think I want to get Hummer, Rope Runner down. I 
and then run from there, basically. Probably want to play the spoon bell for end of round. But I don't know if I can get a fish. Oh, that was a nice double play. And got the power two. And they're gonna look good for the last end of round, okay. Drawn bird. Interesting. Come on, Loot Runner. Um, oh, I can play Who the Wobbler um, for the end of round, okay. I don't have to tie to the spoon bell here. Let's see. Ooh. I think Avasad is kind of nice. Where's the lay eggs? Um, I think they're gonna play a birds. I'm gonna miss out on some point anyway. They're gonna play a bird maybe to win. To, to tie the end of round. So I can play I can play Wobbler to tie that. That means I'm gonna miss on free eggs on the on the Avocet. Because lately round four they're gonna start with picking up uh, laying eggs to gain food. Yep, very chicken nice. Because they are gonna win the last one, so don't want to give them too much lead here. It's no fun tang. Are they gonna pick that up? I hope they pick up birds so that I can focus on laying eggs or playing my Avasat and get in, and gain a free eggs. So that I think it would be lay eggs. Oh no. Play um play Avasat lay eggs three times and then play spoon bell something like that. That should be enough to win me to to get me the Ulo Chis. I need Road Runner to hunt, then I'll have a chance to tie them for the last in a round, but lightly maybe I don't know if that if that's happening. Feel like a pretty equal game so far. I think I have a little bit of leads in bird points, but not too much. Oh, they pick up birds, that's great. That it's great. So I can play Avocet. Do you get a fish? Not sure if that's helpful. Could potentially be. Oh, I missed the Oceania board. I wish I could turn card into eggs. Wouldn't that be nice? And now... I think I have to lay eggs, right? That's no better options. Lay eggs, I can see cards and I get eggs. And I need the eggs for Ulojis, so... Nice. Take that. Um, Looks like they have some big point birds too. 
Come on, Roadrunner, you can do it. Nice. Bait them to deny food, even though I could use the grub anyway. They probably got like a heron or something. Or another hunter. Alright, got the fish I need, but now I'm missing grub. Wingspan bird feeder be like that. Ooh. Hobby. Ugh. Hobby could potentially win the last in front here. But I don't really have a good bird to cover with Hobby. Like the lowest point bird is Phoebe, so I cover Phoebe. I lost three points. But I make up with three points for the end of round, something like that. Oh. That's a interesting play. Probably for parry manager. Yeah. And I can't cover Phoebe because that's my only ground mess. I guess Starnas is good for bonus card as well. Um, yeah, I guess nothing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, lay it one more time, play Spoon Bell, and hope for the best. The Spoon Bell bonus card might swing the game here. Of course, they got white stork. Yeah, it's gonna be a tight game. Maybe they got omnivore. I have a feeling that really good bonus card. Just a feeling. Um. If I can find Bonelli now, that would be terrible. Bonelli! Bonelli! Um... Oh, Imperial! Not Bonelli, but Imperial, huh? Alright, here's the thing. With Imperial, potentially I can win. I think I'm gonna win the end of round. That's three additional points. Plus three tucks, that's 13 points. So that's 11 points. I think that's better than a gamble with the Spoon Bill. The only thing is I gave away so much card. Or so much food that I need. That's unfortunate. Um... Let's see if this is going to be a game decider. Make sure I still maintain Wologis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, yeah, that's 11 points. So I have need to score more than 6 points with a bonus card. For Spoon Build to be worth it. Feel like a tight game. We shall see. If they got omnivore and rodentologists and things like that, I think they take it. Ooh, nice lead with the bird points. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, look like they did score very well with bonus card. Maybe that's enough for me. Feel like quite. Ooh, nice. Maybe not as close as I thought, but 
97 point I take it um yeah I think that was a good game um you know obviously the stroke helped a lot um and then managed to find quite a few big point birds like the wobbler road runner and at the end the impure eagle I don't think that was game determining I could have played the spoon bill and still win um but yeah I'm pretty happy with the game here as always, I hope you enjoy watching this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.